What's cooking, cracking, and popping, YouTube? It's your boy Desert Eagle Gaming here, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we tackle round two of season three of the Nations Cup at the legendary Michelin Raceway Road Atlanta, driving the Suzuki Cappuccino. To be honest with you, I thought this was a weird combination for a Nations Cup, but it turned out to be a nice race. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. Alrighty, fellas, qualifying is done. We got P4. Very nice position to be at in the top five. Here we go, 10 laps at Michelin Raceway, Road Atlanta, in the Suzuki Cappuccino. Very weird combination for a uh, second uh, round of, this, of the third season of the Nations Cup. We qualified in P4. Let's try to get a podium. Bro, what are you trying to do, man? Come on, man. We just started. Jesus. No. Come on, pull away, little cappuccino. Suzuki cappuccino. Small but mighty car. Not gonna lie. Japanese are pro for when it comes to this. When it comes to compact, powerful cars. Lap one, relatively safe. Good job, fellas. Alright, so far so good. Two and a half seconds ahead of P5. We're building a very nice and safe gap here. Honestly, this round has been chaotic, guys. This is the sixth race I partake in, and it's been uh, it's been a hell of a round to say the least. People have been very, very dirty. Very uh very chaotic. Let's keep on pushing. Honestly, 
even a before finish is would be nice since today i had some horrible races to the point where i uh, dropped to uh, br rank c from b My SR is still maxed out at S though, because I try to keep my racing always clean and respectful. But the DR, unfortunately, like you have to be in the top 8 to get some points. And when you get knocked off course or get bumped by some idiot, and you wind up in, in the last position, or you know somewhere but very down low in the grid hey you're gonna lose a lot of dr that's what has been happening to me today in this crazy uh, second uh, round of the third season of nations cup a lot a lot of dirty drivers on the bright side though it gave me a lot of clips for my uh, dirty drivers exposed series <laughs> let's stay focus here Almost through with lap 3. Whoa, whoa, we got a yellow flag, we got a yellow flag, ladies and gentlemen, who crashed, oh, here he is, P3 crashed, and he's ghosted. Oh, G74, uh, G, uh, RC racer, RC74 racer was the pole leader, so, we have a new leader. Oh man, he's still going too hard. Oh, so we're up in uh, P3 here. Very nice. I mean, it's pretty nice to be pole leader and everything. But if you can keep that consistency and lose your position, then it's not worth it. <laughs> Let's try to hold on onto. Uh, let's try to hold on to P3 uh, here and pick up a podium. Very nice stuff so far. Lap 5, we are still in P3, consistent and clean. Oh, I hope that's not a penalty. Penalty. Nope. All right. Rock and roll. Before is closing in on me. 
1.3 seconds behind. Oh, but he has a one second penalty. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, that's it, baby. Pull away, little cappuccino. Pull away. Almost three seconds ahead. Nice. Are you serious? Really? Please, Blake, don't do, don't do that. Don't be, uh, don't be dirty, okay? If you want to make a move, make a clean move, for the love of God. What are you honking, bro? Are you trying to distract me or something? Because it's not working, boy. I really thought I was going to spin there. What a crappy race, man. Polyphony has added, honestly. Like, Nations Cup, man. <laughs> the second round. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, it should be like group 2 or group 3 or group 4, at least. Not this. I don't know, my grandma's car. <laughs> no, no, oh my god, man. Another brown uh, flag moment right there.
All right. Lap 9, we are still in P4 here. Still keeping it very consistent within 2 minutes. It's not my best lap. Uh, I did uh, I did way faster laps than this, but I don't care at this point, to be honest. It's not about being fast, it's about being consistent. And the other thing is... To be honest, this is the best result I've had in this round. P4 finish. If I finish P4, it will be the best finish I had this. Uh, uh, it will be the the best finish I've had the, thus far in this round. So I'm not complaining too much, especially with the amount of dirty drivers we had today. did I lose almost a second almost two seconds now to P5 here we are final lap let's push let's hammer this down let's get a P4 finish I'll be more than happy with that this has been a very very chaotic round i don't know what polyphony was thinking when they uh when they came up with this combination to be honest i think if it was proper racing cars like group four or three we wouldn't have that many we wouldn't have had that many dirty drivers but it was ridiculous like you should have saw like what it was it was ridiculous it was a uh, it was a wreck fest you know the game wreck fest it was the same, uh, uh, same style of racing. Horrible. So for some, for some of y'all, maybe P4 is not that good of a finish. But after the day I had today, racing against these morons, <laughs> I consider it a win. <laughs> Rock and roll, baby. Nice. Finally, finally a clean race. Finally. Relatively clean. There were some questionable maneuvers here and there. And the second thing, I didn't, I didn't see what was happening in the, at the back of the grid. So I can't speak for everybody. Finally, we are done with this round. It was a hellish and very bad round. <laughs> Thanks, Polyphony, for screwing us up. Hey, clean race bonus. Nice. That's how it's done, fellas. Always have a clean race bonus. No matter what. Alrighty. Heavy metal.